everyone. Welcome to It's All Grady. Denise here with you. My husband, Marcel, and our son, Gage, in the back. And my father-in-law, Norman. But the guys are over here already working away. They've been working hard at getting the footer level, checking grade. Hear that tone, baby? Mm-hmm. That's because I won't take no for an answer because I've got to have things perfect. Yeah, we had some issues in the far back corner over there. It was, uh, I don't know, they had to dig it out more. So whatever that, that means. But they got it all fixed up. Working at making it perfect. Ah, perfect. Now that the house plans are set aside and the footer is in progress, we take in each moment we get to spend with dad. So as we bounce from project to project, we go into our next one. With some of Dad's help, we get this next one taken care of. Where's he going? <laughs> Jeez, he left us in the dust. Yeah. Hi there. This is my father-in-law, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite daughter-in-law. <laughs> Socket that fits. That, those lugs are stripped. Oh no. That's busted. Is it busted? Is it cracked? Yep, that's the one. That's why I kept slipping off right there, Dad. Yeah. I don't know if I did that though. It may have may have been. There we go. You're gonna break that one too. No, it's a good one. Hey guys, look. Another flat tire. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. What do you have to say? I did have two. <laughs> well, we had one. And then we bought a spare and I put the flat tire up there. And then we got another one. So I fixed that one. Now I got another flat tire to put on the. Did I change the tire on the side of the road? This is a little bit different. You're gonna have to bounce on it a little bit harder than that. You're gonna have to go eat some more biscuits. Yeah. You haven't been in the South long enough yet, baby cake. <laughs> yeah, if I lose any weight, we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> but that star will work now. If they're loose, it should loosen them up. We might try. The one that's broke? Yep, the one that's broken. Lefty? Lucy. Turn it my way. Turn it your way? Yep, that's the way it goes. This is a very, very long tire changing process. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby cakes. I just not like the. I've never worked for NASCAR. <laughs> None of that. I probably will never be one of them pit stop guys. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit too much for me. <laughs> It'd be cool if we had one of those. We need one as many tires as we change. Tell me right here. What? That's almost like that lug is just spinning. Like it wasn't banged into the back all the way or something. You can't even see them on this side. Okay, you see how far out it is? Yeah. Let's see what happens. I'll Nothing. Might have to take the screwdriver and put it behind there and wedge it. Can't can't get to it behind the drum. Nope. 
Seriously? Man. I don't even know what to do now. We've run into a problem. One of these bolts is just turning. So we can't get the lug nut off all the way. It's just spinning. And now I just made it worse. One other choice that I can think of. Cut it off. Make sure you cut the right one off. Yeah. <laughs> Right up until it's like right at the honey spot, huh? Tight enough for NASCAR. <laughs> what happens, Dad, if your tire's not tight? Falls off. On the highway? Yeah, going down the highway. Lucky that it was a back one, not a front tire, and I didn't have the fifth wheel on. And... Baby, what happens when you take that nut out too far? Hydraulic fluid squeezes everywhere. Yeah. yeah you... Well, it didn't ruin my new jack, but we have to fill it. Yeah. Because she's like, She just didn't understand that it didn't work that way. She kept unscrewing the bolt and it fell out and the liquid came out. She tried to put it back in. Two valuable lessons here. Yeah. Tighten your lug nuts so you don't lose a tire on the highway. Happened to dad last year. And don't undo the hydraulic jack all the way. The fluid just squeezes out. Yeah, and then it don't work because it's a hydraulic jack. Yeah, no more. It don't work. All right, well. With prep work for the slab moving right along, we head in to pick up our plumbing supplies. We are here at the plumbing place to pick up our plumbing. When we arrived, the owner Justin had our house plumbing laid out on his shop floor. Elizabeth went over the layout with us. But this right here, he said, was your complete setup. I gathered you uh, some smaller parts out there in the box. That's to bring it up through the walls. You've got extra, I'm sure. Whatever extra you have, put them back in the box. Bring them back whenever you get a chance, and I'll give you credit. Okay. Should away if something was to happen, and you guys are working on it on a Sunday or of a night. You need extra parts, you've got them. Okay, hold up. Explain that to me one more time. So I <laughs> okay. Wrap my. Okay. It's going up. It's going upstairs. I'm going to come on over across. Lavatory. Lavatory upstairs. Remember, you're going to bring it up in this closet. Right. This center wall. Okay. Come up. I see. Shoot across. That's right. Because this was. Then it's going to get convoluted. You're going to go to the bathroom yeah. group. 
Justin, who's a very busy man, took the time to help make sure we had what we needed. Everything from plumbing layout to the extra parts, we leave feeling more connected to our community and with a sense of confidence that we can handle the plumbing. Sorry, babes. Where are I couldn't you? let off the brake, right which on. means I couldn't unlock the door. I know it was cold out there, and I wasn't trying to lock you out on purpose. <laughs> Not totally on purpose. It is a chilly morning. Oh. What's the temp? Eight sixteen. <laughs> That's the time. <laughs> be a decent day it's gonna be 81 today 49 right now it's 44 this morning we get another morning tomorrow it's 44 we turn the heater on this morning mm -hmm. reminds us of last winter it's quickly approaching yeah the days are beautiful though It was one of those mornings we woke up and it was nice and cool. So we got out the heater and stood by it and got toasty. It's one of those fresh, crisp mornings. Reminds me of camping. Band camp. Did you say band camp? Band camp. We are back up at our house build site. If not, if we can poke a little hole in that sucker. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can get this tire off. See what I mean? That way we need heading out on this massive adventure 15 minutes away to pick up gravel without a spare tire because when you have 10,000 pounds of gravel in trailer you're really going to want to be the one changing the tire if she blows you don't have triple A or double A or A Pretty sure I found it. Maybe not. Oh, that's not. No. No. Look out, baby cakes. I got one more. All right. It's just going to take us out. There's two? Yeah, three. This one's definitely leaking. Oh, you. you know what? 
I don't. I thought I brought a pair of ice sticks. Oh. Holy. Good job. You probably don't need to uh, put water on that one. Let's just pull that other nail now. I'm going to drop the whole thing. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely too. It's super small though. The only reason I saw it because your bubble eye deer. Oh, Here, let's just pour it up. Where that? Where that? Where? Show okay. it to him. It don't even bubble up. It just. That's how. Where's the other one? This one right here, though, is bubbling. Where is that right there? Or it was bubbling. Not enough pressure in it now. All right. All right. So the theory is, if you can get it to bubble, then it's gonna be really? flat. I can't get it to bubble. Should be fine. Then where's this one over here? Let's find this one real quick. Right there, it goes in at a diagonal right there. I think it might be easier to push this in with a little bit more air in it. So it doesn't push down like that. You know what I mean? Let's get a little air in that sucker because it just it don't want to push in, and I want to get it on something that's got me a little more leverage too. So let's do this. Hold on. Let me just blowing off of this. Yeah, there's this like little crack right here that all of us see. There was two nails in that one. Oh, no. Right now, hmm? you and I are about to pull some measurements so that we can figure out how much fill we need. How many yards of fill do we need? <laughs> 